Like, it's so not fair that they get to have all the fun, and it's not fair that we didn't get exposed to it earlier, and that they make so much, like, they make so many dumb decisions, like, day to day, it's not fair that they get to, like, you know, do cool stuff. And I'm like, I'm, like I can outsmart even, like, day to day stuff, I can also outsmart even, like, code. Um, and so that's how I, literally, that's literally how I got into code. Um, and I taught myself, and then um, I got a gig um, at Kaplan Test Prep um, as a front end developer, and then I got a contract there, and then they extended it, and then they worked another company, and then I got LinkedIn. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Misha. I am a software engineer at Kaplan Test Prep. So when I was in middle school and high school, I lived in South Carolina, um, and among other, many other things I learned there, I learned a lot about discrimination, and being, feeling discriminated against there made me so bad, like I spent all of my energy just proving people wrong, so I tried to find the things that people assumed I'd be bad at and excel at them, and one of them was them. Um, so I initially went to college to become a mechanical engineer, but then I soon found that I absolutely hate physics and I could not deal with that, even to prove other people wrong, it was going over my time. Uh, but I took my first programming class because my college required mechanical engineers to learn to code at least at a basic level and I absolutely loved it. And so I switched to a computer science uh, major and then I got my internship at FC and I've been at FC ever since, so it's like a full time engineer. Uh, as for what I do day to day, um, since I have my full-time job at Etsy and a bit of a part-time job for the nonprofit I work for, uh, I start my day doing a lot of work for my nonprofit on Slack, making sure that nobody needs anything from me or any events are set up, uh, and then I go to the office. And there, I similar to Abby, like check the spreadsheet.